Hey, this is Drake here. I was coming back with another First Descendant video. I was going to go over my Lepic build here. I'd say it's perfected, but there's still a couple things that I just haven't been able to get the drop rates to treat me right on. But uh, I managed to do, and I'm going to try to put it for the cover art, I managed to do a 11 second hard mode devourer with it yesterday. And I mean, I'm still got a subpar reactor. I still haven't got one. I mean, God roll on the substats would be skill crit hit damage you know gold 30 something percent and then attack versus colossus of purple or i don't know if gold or roll gold would be best but i mean that would get i think that would easily push it sub 10 second run on devourer and uh also i wasn't running any uh let's see if we can look there is an accessory set that gives you another what is it 25 percent um skill damage for running it i don't remember which one it was but yeah i mean there's another there's an accessory set that i have yet to farm that can give you i think it's another 25 percent on your skill damage and i was not running the module there's a gold mod that when they're down that gives you an additional 25 percent and i'm gonna try to put all that together I mean, that would be very glass cannon build, but I believe that, you know, and it's kind of RNG, you're kind of dependent on the crit rates, but I believe that with that and the right look, sub five second devourer run would be pretty easy. Could be pushing even further than that. But I was going to go over the video because, and I hope somebody can answer it for me. At the moment, I think that base Lepic could be better than ultimate Lepic. Now, if you're not familiar, Lepic has probably one of the best ultimates in the game, I would think. As you can see, really high skill power modifier. And with the way I got it set up, you can get 11 shots off in the duration that the time is up. Now, the reason I say that base might be better, and I haven't farmed out ultimate Lepic yet to test it, but as you can see, his base, uh, his skill power modifier is 2,760.3. All right, if we find ultimate Lepic, We'll get there in a minute maybe there it is ultimate Olympic this, this is only 2590 so you get nearly a 200 percent more damage increase base on your ultimate off of base Lepic instead of ultimate Lepic uh, and basically the only reason you would farm ultimate Lepic I mean he's a little more survivable looks cooler for sure but it's just access to the one transcendent mod and that would be firearm master it's a Lep Le uh, ultimate lepic exclusive and when you change weapons it increases your skill power now i don't know how much this is i've watched some other youtube videos that are talking about this but they didn't show the exact amount but their runs are only fractionally faster than mine and they're running far more optimized builds than mine is so that's why i'm saying best bang for your buck lepic could be the best and uh but I'll go over. I've got actually two different builds that I set up. I've got a bossing one, which I haven't labeled yet, and just a standard. Now, bossing is a little more glass cannon. You're still pretty survivable. And one of my mods isn't all the way leveled up. I just ran out of Kuiper. I should have leveled it up before the video, but I didn't. But anyway, basically, you'll have about 12,600 HP, and you'll have probably close to 40,000 defense. So, not a. I mean, you're pretty survivable. You can take a couple of hits with this, so you're not just in there you know getting one shot of everything but the main thing you're after is this you're going 207.7 percent uh crit damage and crit rate and we're going skill duration because that allows us to pop our ultimate for a longer period of time now i've got quite a bit of hp on this build and decent amount of defense when i fully upgrade this one it will be around 90 percent on my other build i run more defense and we're going 73.1% skill power and we're doing 50.8% skill power modifier and we're not running our transcendent mod I've got a transcendent mod on the other one but the reason for this is I was trying to get the and I'll show it here as you can see is on his burst damage his modifier is high but on your continuous damage and your burn damage which comes off of this 
the modifier is fairly low. So when you add this, it takes your continuous damage from a 43.8% modifier to a 94.6% modifier. And when you pop this without the transcendent mod, you get another 20%. So we're adding a 70% modifier to something that only starts out at 43.8 on our continuous damage. And really those ticks, as you can see, the uh, continuous damage duration is 5.8 seconds and damage interval is half a second. So we're getting 11 ticks of damage and these ticks are hitting, when they're critting, they're hitting for over 100,000 a piece. So I mean that is adding an extra million damage if we're lucky, if they all crit, 1.1 million more damage to each one of our shots. And honestly the continuous damage ticks are probably doing more than the shot itself. Now the, the shot itself is and let me show this if you can here. You can see it's right at 2.8 million. And that was without. Now you get a little more modifier. I'm gonna let that go away. Alright, we'll refill this. Now you want to pop your overclock. Do your ultimate roll into it. Cancel animation. You can see our ticks are doing 112,000 piece when they're hitting and we're hitting at nearly 2.8 million per shot when they crit and we can get 11 shots off right now so I mean that's where the real damage comes in now I could have set this up a little different and you can squeeze just a little bit more damage out of it when I was doing it I set this up for power increase I really wish I mean if you're going for just and it's just a fractional increase but if you really want max damage you'd want this slot to be set up for fire master and I don't even know where it is, but you'd want this for fire master instead of power increase. But I just had this one already upgraded, so I had it on there. I didn't realize the mistake till later. But I mean, honestly, it's only maybe a one or two percent increase. If you're looking for absolute max, it's that. Now we'll go over to mods here. Now, of course, we're running max HP. I've got spear and shield in here for some defense, but it also gives us another 8.1 percent skill power. We're running technician for our skill, skill power modifier, which I explained a while ago. And then of course, these four are kind of mandatory on any skill crit build. You want skill insight for more uh, crit rate. You want front lines for more damage and crit rate. You want emergency measures for more crit rate and more damage. And uh, which other one was it? Skill concentration for more damage. And when you've got all four of those, it gets you to the 207.7% on each uh, and i got battle of stamina in there for more hp because it seems harder to scale up your hp than it does your defense and uh just a little bit more duration so we can just squeeze a little bit more out of our ultimate and then of course skill extension and our x set on our reactor you want something with skill critical hit damage for sure and skill cooldown, skill extension would be great for just regular gameplay, but for bossing, I mean, of course, fire and tech, gold roll on whatever mounting that you have in your hand, and your bottom stats are really the, the god tier rolls, but uh, by, uh, damage against Colossus would be awesome because it gives you nearly 2,000% more skill damage, and then that goes through nearly 2,000% uh, skill modifier and then that goes through a four and a half times modifier on your crit rate so a couple thousand more on your skill power to equivalent you know equal out to just an, a tremendous amount more damage on the build and as you see we're going we're at 46.15 crit rate all right and that's where you're kind of at the mercy of rng if you jump in there and every shot crits you're going to wipe it out in a record time but i have one in there and had 11 shots and not a single one of them crit and then still have to shoot the boss to death so you're kind of at the mercy of rng unfortunately on this and there's i mean you can run another a reactor with some crit on it but it only pushes it up to about 50 percent so and but this is where real damage is we're getting 4.36 uh skill critical hit damage modifier and if i had to gold roll it would be about four and a half percent and this is just our other ones are uh skill power modifier our base skill power boost and our base skill power goes through these multipliers to add up to the damage that we're putting out and that's basically it like i said i mean i did a 11 a second uh 
hard mode devourer run yesterday with this solo and uh like i said i've got basically subpar everything and uh i said there's another gold mod that you can run that gives you 25 more percent when they're down so after about two shots if you break apart you get just flat out 25 percent more skill power damage on it which would speed it up even more there is definitely room for improvement on this now the other one that's one thing i like about this is it's kind of versatile i mean this is bossing but what i generally run on most missions is this now this is we'll go back this is more tanky i've got fifty three thousand defense and the same on hp hp is harder to scale up i've noticed than defense this just starts at a lower base rate it's a little harder to scale but what you want is it's basically all the same other than running this and I, and I really like this this is our overclock no longer inflict increases skill power but increases firearm attack and what this does is give you 52 percent far more firearm attack each time you pop it and i think the duration is like 7.8 seconds it's a little over a 50 percent up time so you can basically say with this you're increasing your weapon damage by about 25 percent if you're just popping it constantly and of course whatever shot uh sub module you want i've been meaning to upgrade one of the grapple ones that just haven't had the resources to do it yet so whatever sub module you want uh maxed out and then of course basically the same other than we're throwing in uh, a better max defense instead of the other one we're throwing in nimble fingers for school cooldown instead of technician because they're really not going to be depending on our ultimate ticks all that much and then ba everything else is the same it's just basically those two mods this one and this one and this one are three i guess you change out which changes it from a bossing build to a great general play build and you're you're very tanky and you do solid dps and we have still got my i'm still working on my thunder cage it's not quite matched yet but i saw this on another video and you know thanks for the the tips your fire rate on your weapon actually affects your ultimate so if you throw this fire rate on there you get 25 percent more shots out of your ultimate just by having this on your weapon and also it kind of plays into what i was playing around with on the thunder cage here i was going for max fire rate and max mag capacity and then firing fiesta so after you reload you get a three second window of not running out of ammo now as you can see we can empty a mag pretty quick we're getting about what 12 8 normal all right now what i like to do is pop this pop our reload now we got unlimited ammo and now we're doing 16,000 per shot and it basically lasts the entire time you see i mean but it seems that and I can just, maybe it'll show it. Sometimes it doesn't show up for some whatever reason. This yeah, as you can see, it does. Duration 7.3 seconds. Firearm attack increased 52%. Explosive attack, which I'm assuming is for launchers, 50%. And it still actually does burn on your skills, too. So you can still actually inflict burn with your grenades or your ultimate. You just don't have quite the duration, and it doesn't give you the 20% skill modifier boost. But I really like that. But like I said, it's I'm still kind of work in progress. This could get better. As you see, I mean, it's got a 7.3 second uptime, 13.7 second cooldown, which is you know a little over 50% uptime on it. And it just really, and I have noticed, I think it it increases base. Uh, firearm damage it does not because I'm running uh, chill enhancement of 30% and that's why it's not actually a 52% increase because it doesn't seem to affect an element it just affects base weapon damage but that's it like I said I mean just two really great lepic builds and I kind of hope somebody will actually put out a video comparing the two because at the moment I feel like maybe ultimate lepic is a bit under leveled because if I can get the same amount, uh, same time boss kills out of this build and not have to farm ultimate lepic, then why would I? I mean, if you start out with this one, it's just base character. And as you can see, I mean, you have to invest a lot of time. Now, my original thoughts was I would invest in my base character and then I could use it to farm 
any ultimate I wanted to because unless you're depending on other people to carry you through the content, you have to have some way to farm the harder content yourself to get the transcendent drops if you're not willing to spend money on it. But this is it. I mean, this is basically general play, mobbing build, and then you just swap a few things over to your bossing build, and this will absolutely shred. Now, I will say it's fire-based damage, so anything that doesn't take good fire damage, you're not going to get the clear time zone that you would. But, ult I mean, hard mode devourer seems to be very squishy. I see why everybody puts out uh, bossing videos on him because he just takes really good damage and he's not very mobile so he doesn't dodge your attacks he's just kind of stand there and take the full brunt of your attacks oh yeah another thing i was going to mention i did notice that you own your censure whichever one you want to run you need max mp and doesn't seem to have to be a gold roll but you at least have to have max mp because you cannot get out all 11 shots of your ultimate without having a max mp roll on your censure and i haven't seen it roll on anything else so that's super crucial to the build if I change this out, it takes me from 11 shots to 9 shots, you know, a huge damage decrease. Now the other, I just like to run double roll HP because these will double roll, double roll defense on these. And this one's just kind of, I like to run defense and then a max shield roll and possibly a uh, resistance roll just because nothing better will roll on it, honestly. But nothing too spectacular. You can see I'm not running any set bonuses as of yet. I've still got to farm those out. I still need a better reactor. I've been farming for a better reactor for two days. Still haven't got a single good one to drop. So, I mean, it's just RNG at this point. But that's it. Like I said, I mean, this makes going through hard mode solo kind of easy. I haven't struggled against anything yet. And I'm expecting Pyromaniac to give me trouble because he is, he is heavily fire resistant. But we will see. That's it. I mean, if you liked the video, give it a thumbs up. If you have any questions, leave it in the comment. And if you want to see more, click the subscribe button. As always, thanks for watching.